hello guys welcome back to my channel um today uh, as i was uh mentioning in, in my community post um i wanted to actually like express how i was uh feeling a mix of emotions after watching uh bts festa and i guess um you all are too if you watched it and well i wanted to pull a few cards for them to see how this uh, moment of pause and also the releasing of their individual activities is going to be like so to see how their guys are, are going to uh transit this from of course an energetic level um i'm not a predictor i'm just using the cards to see what energies are available so let's uh open our minds to that let's receive the message and if it doesn't resonate you know you can let it go and of course if you want to add your own interpretation or perception of the situation as long as it's respectful it's always welcome so as you know i had done on one of my recent lives i i did a, a brief tarot reading for them uh, and other idols as well but bts was included especially bts comeback and actually i did mention and i remember that i talked about them feeling exhausted especially because they they had uh the in the middle of the spread there was the ten of wands so definitely there was a lot of exhaustion there was a lot of burdens a lot of things that that they carried with them that was too much weight um so so yes now i want to see what this updated uh spread has to say about the upcoming months um so let's start they got the eight of wands um the prince of that it would be like the knight of cups we have um the empress uh we have the queen of pentacles and we have the page of pentacles so definitely if i can like judge the energy from the cards that i'm seeing um here we have only one cut only one card that talks about emotions that actually is a very meaningful one but i think that what caught my attention it's all the yellowish golden kind of vibe here um there's a lot of pentacles and also there's the empress so what i could say about this is that probably this break this moment of pause about the group's activity it, it has to do with them improving their own uh, productivity. I think that honestly, this has to do with them finding ways to connect with creativity and productivity. I think that the guys, um, they are all very like focused on results, you know, and I think that probably if they have felt a bit anxious about that uh, delivering the result or the final product that they wished that they could deliver uh, I think that there was like this kind of uh, heavy weight on their shoulders because you know that they are very spontaneous they are very open this is why we have the knight of cups here the guys definitely are not hiding and we actually saw this we watched this yesterday um, that during their conversation and the explanation of how they felt they open up you know so uh i think that it's emotional but at the same time it doesn't have to do with internal issues like for them i don't know like having like i don't know conflicts within themselves or with themselves it has to do with the product that they are delivering that i think that they are very uh, responsible people and they want to do their best they always want to deliver something of substance something meaningful so i think that probably what actually affected them the most is feeling that the result or the final product wasn't good enough so here there's a lot of virgo energy of course that we have a lot of virgo influence members we have rm the leader that he is a virgo we have jk he is a virgo we have yungi that it's a moon in virgo so you know uh, we have hobby that hobby is a moon in Taurus. um 
you know, there's a lot of, we have um, Tay, Tay Young, that he is a Capricorn, um, Jean, uh, with his Venus in Capricorn, you know, these people are very goal orientated. So yes, they are emotional. Yes, they are communicative. But I think that they are in this period of life where they are, they want to be very good at what they do. They want to deliver quality. And they, I think that this stop is for them to gather resources or new ideas to keep being themselves and delivering the best you know here thankfully i don't see any cards of struggle anxiety i don't see any of this i think that this stop is like i mentioned in my previous brief reading is um is very necessary and actually i uh if i invite you if you haven't watched it um i will link uh my the the link to my to my life where i did a, a section for them and it has timestamps so you can go straight to to the comment section and look for it so you you can go straight to the reading and you can compare what i i read for them a few weeks ago and now so um yes starting off with the eight of wands i think that the guys definitely are in the rush and i think that i had mentioned this in another readings that i done for bts or when people ask me to pull cards for bts somehow they are like in a rush there's a not i think that it's not them i think that it's also the company that probably you know like i mentioned in the past there's this sense of them recording a lot of things or actually that they had been recording a lot of things in the past that had been kept like or had been saved to use uh in the future there's like this like the concentration of a lot of material a lot of videos a lot of like uh recorded things that will be used uh during this period that we, that they will not be doing like a group activities um but there's also this this hurry this hurry i think that they saw this coming somehow um and this is part of them also getting emotional because somehow they they know how things they probably knew about this a long time ago it's just that they didn't have the time to process it and now that during this bts festa shooting that they were able to sit down you know to have a drink and and actually it's not you know, if you can see the image of this Knight of Cups, there's this young boy staring at the cup. So probably, you know, the atmosphere of the BTS Festa, the intimacy, the relaxation, the drinks in the middle, it can also was like the opening of, of emotions and feelings that they had kept uh, very battle inside for a while um you know like i mentioned the guys do have a lot of influence of earth elements you know but at the same time they are very emotional there's a lot of like um if from an astrological point of view we have uh rm we have yungi we have uh gene that the three of them have mars in cancer we have uh, J-Hope, uh, Hobby, that Hobby has Mercury and Venus in Pisces. So yes, he's a pro, but at the same time, he's very emotional at the same time. We also have Jimin with his Venus and Mars in Scorpio. Very intense also when he, he feels at his when he feels emotions he does feel them in a very intense way especially you can see his body language starts to get like very tense because he starts to feel his whole emotions in his body when he cannot express it you can see that emotions hit him when he starts moving uncomfortably his body or when he starts like touching his hair too much you can definitely sense that there, there's a lot of emotions hidden inside of his body we have JK, uh, JK also is very emotional. He has his son in the 12th house. So 
you know he's a very emotional uh he he's very spiritual at the same time he's very gifted he's very perceptive i think that he's one of the most intuitive and perceptive members of the group um so definitely there's a lot of like um a lot of emotions in these guys they are professionals they want to do their best but at the same time there were a lot of emotions that needed to be expressed in this environment in this in this tranquility in this moment of okay we are sitting here there's cameras but we are here we are talking you know we're talking about nonsense we start talking about about random things and eventually we had to open up the gates of emotions we have to let it out we needed to release it we needed to release we needed to share our cups of emotions with the fans you know but i think that they the reason why they 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 felt i think that more emotional is because they wanted to deliver it in a in a way where they didn't scare the fans because they know that army is also very emotional um a very emotional group of people they are very connected with the boys as well in a very emotional way remember that army in astrological sense they are cancer they're they're ruled by cancer and they are cancer moon as well so they are a very emotional community so they didn't want the fans to feel sad for them but at the same time they need it because they are like okay we need to tell them how we are feeling this is the moment we cannot let it like we cannot keep acting like oh yes we have everything under control no we are not in control we are humans and we are tired we are exhausted we are exhausted it feels like we 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 are like running out of energy but because they wanted to keep maintaining you know like i mentioned in the past they wanted to keep this very optimistic kind of vibe you know very very uh, high energy high vibration and somehow that's a very tough task to accomplish all the time you know sometimes we do have our lows and our highs so here with the empress definitely i think that this moment is going to be very of a personal growth for them you know i think that they are definitely going to achieve every individual goal that they have because somehow they are already growing as individuals they are already growing they in themselves are a source of creation they are creators each one of them so i think that probably if you do have the chance if we do if we all have the chance to enjoy uh, and follow everyone's individual's activity we are going to see start to see another side of them another layer of them of a different and higher potential you know when you are like oh my god i didn't know this member could do this yes they will start to develop their individual skills and you will be so grateful in the future looking back at this and you will be like thank god that they took this moment thank god that they made this decision because they will start to blossom again as artists and as individuals so this is great guys i'm super happy for them we also have the queen of pentacles so i think that you know there's something also about them also like probably like um being more abundant being more prosperous um i think that their individual activities are also going to give them more opportunities to earn money and actually to earn it for themselves you know like lifting up like getting rid of the weight of like raising money for certain like for a certain institution you know i think that this has to do with them actually getting paid for their individual works and actually being able to enjoy that money for themselves uh, or actually the opportunity of them possibly individually also having their own um 
their own enterprise. There's something here about them actually becoming this queen of pentacles, them becoming this sort of like creators of money, money makers, individual money makers. Uh, and this is not about being ambitious, actually, because the guys are in a good place uh, economically. But I think that this has to do about them getting paid for what they do or what they bring individually, you know. And I think that this is going to give them also a lot of more confidence. You know, they're going to be like, wow, th this is what I'm getting for doing this that I love and by myself like they are going to open their eyes to also be amazed at how well they're going to do you know i think that they are expanding their energies are expanding and they also you know with all these pentacles they want to build a stability for themselves they want to be able to support themselves or their individual expenses by themselves you know they want to get a name or get some kind of result for individual activities as well they want to find their own individual worth and i think that this is challenging but this is also a huge decision that it's is so great i don't know how to say it guys but i see a lot of success I see that they, there's no restrictions here, you know, to creativity, to, to possibilities, to opportunities. I see a lot of pentacles. And also, with the page of pentacles here ending the, the reading, I think that they want to go back to being amateurs. I don't know how to explain this, but I think that they definitely want to enjoy the challenge, the challenge of starting as if, I was a quote-unquote nobody, like a nuku, you know, like like as if I was a trainee and, and I have to do all the process. I don't know, but they want to connect with that feeling, that nervousness, you know, that, oh, what if they like it? What if they don't like it? Oh, what if I do this? And, you know, they want to feel that adrenaline of being a sort of like apprentice, you know, like being like recovering the sort of innocence you know like being like oh what if i take the risk of doing this you know what if i dare to study this more and i show this side of me that i didn't even know that i have i possessed so um i think that this is going to be very very it's going to have a lot of results guys you're going to see a lot of a lot of material this is why in my um in my previous reading that i did for them i didn't see the individual projects uh but i remember that what i said was that um i didn't see them like stopping like actually like uh like them like disappearing actually no um probably what i didn't see is individually activities but i think that i I think that the guys are, I don't see them like stopping, you know, like resting, like, oh, I'm going to take a vacation. Probably they, they are going to take a sort of vacation, but in the, in the process, they are going to be creating, creating. This is why they want to take this vacation or this sort of time to create their own uh their own projects and they are very ambitious people so definitely you are going to see uh a lot from them so don't be sad guys don't be like um uh don't worry because they are okay they are i think i congratulate them from the bottom of my heart because uh and and i think that this moment is the reason why uh, i respect them and admire some there so much because i think that i prefer this sort of honesty and and them taking control because you know uh, businesses and companies always uh want uh their their artists to keep going to you know to disguise a certain things in order to keep you know making money so i i guess that uh 
the fact that they took this decision is also a representation of how much power and control they have over their careers. And I think that this is something that is a great example for a lot of people that probably <clears throat> are struggling at their workplace or in their lives that it's about sometimes you do have to think about yourself you do have to think about your own interests your mental health your well-being because at the end of the day if you don't take care of yourself and if you don't put yourself as a priority no one will so i think that this is a great as i always say bts it's a group that they don't always like like open up about certain things because sometimes the message that they, they deliver is with example and silence sometimes but i think that if they took this moment during this festa to say and express what they did is because they also want to let you know that there's no need for you to find or to see if you can find an extra meaning behind their decisions because they already told you and expressed what they wanted to express so you don't need no other outsiders opinions or you know or um statements or you don't need anyone to decipher what bts is thinking or what bts is feeling they told you themselves so please keep and and stick to that message that that message is the reality and what is really going on there's nothing hidden here so yes guys this is all i have for them i hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did please don't forget to subscribe and like it um yes and i see you in my next video bye